Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Glenn and this is my channel Taylor Tries, where I try new things and I try to teach you new things. And today, I'm gonna teach you how to juggle three clubs. It's pretty cool. Before we jump into how to juggle these clubs, you have to have clubs to juggle. So what kind of clubs should you use? That is really a personal preference type thing, but I do have a couple sets that I recommend. If you're just starting and you have a budget and you don't want to get the really good set yet, there is a beginner set that I do recommend. There's a link to that in the description. For the most part, a lot of the beginner sets aren't really that bad. They're not great. They're not going to be these professional clubs, but they're not bad. The only set I highly recommend you don't get is this one piece Duncan clubs. They're usually bright white or bright yellow and they have flames on them. I hate them don't get them. They're too hard, they hurt your hands, and they will break. If you want to invest just a little bit more and get a good set that's gonna last you a while and feel really great, you can get Henry's loops or pirouettes. They're pretty affordable for a professional club. They're used by jugglers all around the world. They'll last you a while and they look cool. So there's a link to those in the description as well. So once you've got your clubs, you can actually start throwing stuff. Let's do it. All right, in order to learn three clubs, you gotta learn one get rid of those. One club, yes. All right, so let's take a look at this club. There's three main parts to a juggling club. The head or the bulb, the handle, and the knob. Obviously for the three club cascade, we're just gonna pay attention to the handle right now, but it's good to know what those are. So to hold the juggling club, you're not gonna hold it very tightly, and we're gonna hold it just below the center point right here. Have the club resting on your four fingers, and then put your thumb on top like this. And I want you to do that pretty loosely. You don't want to hold it really tight, and you also don't want to be holding it like a caveman club. It's not that type of club. Hold it nice and loose in your hand. A lot of it is in your finger dexterity. You're going to be using your fingers to control the spin a little bit. So now that you're holding it correctly, let's try throwing it. When we throw a club, we're going to drop our arm down, and then also tilt our wrist down just a little bit. I don't want to see this, and it's not this, it's not straight down. It's just kind of a combination of both your arm dropping and your wrist. And then from there, you're going to reverse that. You're gonna lift your arm and flick that wrist just a little bit to get a nice, easy spin. When you catch, you wanna catch in that same spot that we threw from. You wanna catch just below that center point. Just like the three ball cascade, you also want the club to be crossing in the middle of your body. This becomes a little more important with clubs just because of the rotation that is now involved. What you don't wanna do is throw it a little too horizontally where the club is almost going flat. You also don't wanna do it straight up where the club is in the middle of your body because then they'll collide. So create a nice diagonal line across your body. Take a second and just get comfortable throwing that one club. Learn how your individual club spins, get used to catching it in that same spot that we talked about and throwing it the way we did. Get good at this. Practice it until you can get one club comfortably. Then pick up another one. Yeah, two clubs. Mm. With two clubs, we're gonna do the basic exercise that we did with two balls when we were learning three balls. So you're gonna throw one club and when that club comes down, you're gonna throw the next club. Right, left, right, left. Or if you're left-handed, left, right left, right. And then alternate. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. Again, keep in mind that arm to wrist ratio that I talked about, and also keep in mind the crossing of the clubs. Don't do straight up and don't do too far horizontally. Create nice diagonal lines. Once you feel solid with that, we can move on to the next exercise. All right, I know what you're thinking. I feel good with two, let's move on to three, but I have a different exercise for you. One of the hardest things about learning clubs, in my opinion, is how to hold two in one hand. This is difficult, and then throwing in one of those clubs is difficult. So I'm gonna take a second now and teach you how to hold the clubs and how to release them. There are two primary ways to hold two clubs in your hand. The first is to hold one here between your thumb and your index finger, and then put the other club on top. This is called standard grip or normal grip, depending on who you talk to. This is what I do. I feel most comfortable with this. The second way to do it is to hold the first club more in your fingers and put the second club on top where your thumb is. That is called circus grip. 
I think this is super uncomfortable. I hate it. I will never do this grip. That being said, my experience in the juggling community has shown me that it's a pretty good mix of whether people prefer one grip to the other. So try each one, see which one just feels more natural for you. Don't try to learn both. Most jugglers have just one that they use. They never touch the other one. Regardless of which grip you're using, the first club that you're gonna throw is gonna be that club that's more on the inside. So in standard grip, it'll be the club that's kind of on top. In circus grip, it'll be the club that's more on bottom. In this case, it's the blue club, either way. So in order to get that spin that we normally want, you're going to drop your hand and you're gonna use these back four fingers to push up on that club. Meanwhile, you're gonna pinch the other club with the inside edge of your thumb to keep it from throwing. So we're going to go down, we're going to use these fingers to pop that club out and hold on to this club with our thumb. So just practice throwing that first club, put it back, throw it again, practice that over and over again until you feel good with it. All right, so once you're feeling comfortable with two clubs releasing that first club, let's pick up a third club. All right. All right, we've got three clubs. Start with two clubs just like you were, and then one club in the other hand. Now we're ready to juggle. So you can just practice doing the first three throws. One, two, three, catch. Just like when we're learning three balls, make sure that you're not rushing the clubs. Keep them evenly timed and keep them the same height. One, two, three. One, two, three. Once you feel good with three, add a fourth throw. One, two, three, four, catch. One, two, three, four, catch. And then when you feel good with that, add a fifth throw, and then a sixth throw, and a seventh throw. You know the drill. You should be comfortable with that process by now. Other than that, you just gotta practice it over and over again. Repetition. You're not gonna get good at juggling clubs unless you practice them a lot. So don't be afraid to get outside and practice. If you're having a hard time with the collect part, which you very well might be because collecting is really hard, I'm gonna take a second and teach you that. To collect two clubs in standard grip, we're going to, again, pinch that one club with our thumb and fan open those fingers. That gets it ready for the club to fall into it. We have it here, throw it, and just catch that club on top. That's the first way to collect it in standard grip. The second way is instead of holding this club in your thumb, you're gonna hold it down by your fingers and you're gonna open up your palm and your thumb getting ready to catch that other club. Next, to collect two clubs into circus grip, I don't use circus grip, so I'm not as good at it. I think the easiest way is honestly to actually start with this one club in your fingers and then catch the other club on top. The other way to do it would be to hold that first club in the thumb just like we normally do, but to kind of tilt it up and catch that club coming down in the rest of your palm and then trap it with that top club. This feels super unnatural to me. I don't understand it. I think some people do honestly collect this way with circus grip, but if you are a circus grip juggler, I think the easiest way to collect would be that first method I just showed you. Next, I wanna take a minute and talk about some of the common mistakes and problems that I see with three clubs and possibly some of the things that you might be having a hard time with while learning. The first thing I see a lot is that the club isn't spinning enough and you're throwing really high. If your club isn't spinning enough, it's because you're not using enough wrist. Now, don't overspin it. You don't want this. But when you drop your hand, drop your wrist a little bit too. And then when you bring your hand up, reverse the motion of your wrist. That will allow for you to get a nice natural spin. Again, you're gonna get better with practice and time. It will smooth itself out. Eventually you'll figure out the perfect rotation. The inverse of that that I also see quite frequently is that people are using their wrist too much and they're not using their arm to do the throw at all. Just like we don't wanna be up here having the clubs spin not enough, we also don't want them down here only using our wrist. See how my arms aren't really moving? It's bad form, it doesn't look good, and it's gonna hurt your wrist in the long run. You're going to end up getting carpal tunnel. So don't just bring your wrist down, bring your arm down too. Bring it down by your thigh. Then when you release, use an equal combo of your wrist and your bicep. That's how you juggle clubs the correct way. 
The other thing I see, even among some really good club jugglers, is these bowed arms. You'll see jugglers sometimes juggling like this. Okay, maybe not that much. It's probably more like this. I personally think this is super ugly. I don't, I don't like it. Remember when you're juggling to keep your elbows in towards your body. So when you're juggling clubs, don't let your elbows come out, bring them in. Yeah. The last common mistake I see with people learning clubs is you bring your hands up too high, just like with three balls. You wanna keep your hands down by your hips, not up by your chest. So don't juggle clubs up here. Don't hutch up your shoulders, bring them down, bring your arms down by your hips, juggle down here. It's okay if it goes higher, but try to keep your arm here, not up here, okay? All right, that is all I have for you today. Hopefully this gets you started on your three club journey. If you found this tutorial helpful and enjoyable, give it a like, thumbs up, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing and turning on notifications. And if you learned how to juggle three clubs from this tutorial, leave a comment and let me know. That makes me feel awesome. That means that, you know, this isn't all for nothing, all this hard work. <laughs> If you want to be extra awesome, you can head over to Patreon and support what I'm doing by becoming a member of my Otter Club. Not a juggling club, the Otter Club. If you do that, you'll get all sorts of insider goodies, access to my videos early, and you know, more stuff that I'm not going to list right now because I'm, I'm tired. So that's it. I hope uh, it helps. All right, bye. Sweet. Done.